Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. 67 degrees out here right now. Supposed to get up to 79 today. I not believe that when I see it. They were calling for rain, and when I just checked the forecast, it didn't show any rain on it. I mean, it changes every minute here in Southwest Florida. You can't predict the weather here. The water temperature is 74 degrees today. We had a nice rain yesterday. We definitely needed it. it rained on and off all day yesterday. It's gonna be partly cloudy today. Tide is on its way out this morning. Expecting a low tide at around 12.30 today. It's nice to see our sea oats starting to come back. Hurricane Irma buried all of the sea oats along the dunes. But now you can see they're finally making a comeback. You can see some there. You can see them all along here now. Right after Irma, this was just all sand that had washed up on the beach. The sun's just coming up over the trees here. Moved our clocks forward yesterday, so it's a darker here than it has been. All in all, it's absolutely beautiful here. Gorgeous Sunday morning. I'm right in the middle of Area 4 Beach, parking lot 4. I just walked out the boardwalk. It's my favorite spot to come out to the beach here. Walk down that boardwalk there. For a long time, this boardwalk was shut down. We had some really bad storms last year that tore it apart, and then Irma put the icing on the cake. So we were without that boardwalk for, oh, a year or so. Over a year. Actually, it started in 2016 is when that boardwalk started getting to beat up. There goes one of our osprey overhead. Out looking for some breakfast. We had some really super low cloud cover here this morning. It's just starting to break up. Starting to see the blue sky now. There's a bunch of pelicans down the beach. Must be a big school of fish. Let's see if I can walk down that direction. They just make their way up and down the beach, the pelicans, following the fish. Tide's still pretty high. There's a nice, there's a lot of shells all along this ridge line, but they're out in the water right now. As the tide goes down, they'll get uncovered. Let's see what we find this morning when we walk the beach. There's always something new to discover here. All kinds of beautiful shells to be found. Come on camera, wake up and focus. Huh. Try it again. It's still kind of dark out here. I'm in the shade. Oh, those pelicans are moving down the beach. Wanted to try and catch up to them. 
They're so fun to watch when they dive into the water. There goes a couple heading, heading down the beach. There's a nice little olive shell down here. Oh, look at that. See, I pick up, I say, there's a nice olive shell. Come on, focus, camera. There we go. It looked like a nice olive shell. It is a nice olive shell. Now I turned it over. <laughs> That's what it looked like. It's still pretty neat when you can see the inside of the shells like that. That's an olive. Wow, there's a little worm, a little tiny worm shell. Look at that. That's a small worm shell right there. Usually they're a lot bigger than that. If I put that in my pocket, it's gonna break. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it back on the beach. This is a great time to go shelling early in the morning before the beach gets crowded. As the tide's going out, we get first pick here of the shells. Yeah, there's a little tiny piece of worm rock. Once in a while, we'll find some really, really big pieces of this worm rock. Let's take a look out in the water. A little rougher than it was yesterday. It was really, really calm yesterday. You see those low clouds starting to burn off out there. A lot darker with that time change. Getting out here earlier though, might, maybe we'll get lucky and see some dolphins this morning. There's a lot of fish. There must be a big school of fish out here because the seagulls are all circling around out here. The pelicans are diving into the water. I don't know if you can see them out there. Diving. <laughs> They're so fun to watch. There they go. They'll go up in the air, spot a fish, boom, down they go. I mean, they just dive straight down. That's amazing. See if that one goes down. Bam. <laughs> Those pelicans, they're just eating machines. What goes in comes right out. They really make a mess out of people's boat docks down here.
Well, that's nice. They came to me. I didn't have to go to them. Got one flying around there. What's he waiting for? There he goes. Usually when the pelicans are doing this, not all the time, but a lot of times that's when the dolphins will come in. The dolphins will be feeding on the same fish that the pelicans are feeding on. So that's usually one good sign of spotting some dolphins is look for the pelicans. <laughs> that is so neat. I'm going to widen the camera out a little bit. I love watching the pelicans. That is so cool. Let's walk down the beach a little further. See if we find any shells down here. So we walk south in area four. We're up in North Naples, Florida. For anybody that's just joining us at Elnor Wiggins Pass State Park on a gorgeous Sunday morning. It's about 68 degrees, 67 degrees right now. Just walking along the shore, the tide's slowly going out now. Or I'm sorry, slowly, yeah, it's going out. Low tide, I believe, is at 1230. Oh, I don't have that backwards. <laughs> Just checking the shoreline for any interesting shells that might have washed up on the beach early this morning or anything else sometimes we find some neat little crabs crawling around There's a really heavy, it's almost like a fog bank out there. I saw Roy earlier this morning on my street as he was heading to the beach. He forgot to set his clock forward. I figured that was gonna happen. He's here, he just got here a little late, an hour late this morning. He put quite the show on for us yesterday, him and Ron. They're yodeling, Roy's Tarzan yell. Oh. <coughs> Excuse. <coughs> oh. 
Excuse me. I had a sneeze there. Sorry about that. You can't cover anything up when you're live. <laughs> Where's it? Looks like a nice little cockle shell down here. Let's see. Yeah. There's a nice cockle shell. That's a beauty right there. The cockle shell. We've got a lot of, we got live cockles just offshore on the sandbar. So this is actually half of a cockle shell. You know, think about all of these shells that you see all along the beach here some point they had something living inside them a muscle a snail a conch if it was a fighting conch or a conch shell these were all alive these shells that are up and down the beach that's just mind-boggling when you do come across a shell that has something living a living animal inside we don't take it home from the beach we always leave that at the beach put it back in the water A little kitten's paw over here. Oh, almost washed away. There's a little kitten's paw. Fairly common. Find those all different colors and sizes. The kitten's paw. It looks like a, just the top of a cone shell. It looks like just a piece the very top of a cone. Beautiful shells, the cone shells. It's really neat the way the water, the currents, the sand erodes the shells. Look at that. Those are actually old shells. Looks like coral. They're actually old seashells. Down here is some coral. There's a big chunk of finger coral right there. Boy, our friend Diane, she found a beautiful piece of coral yesterday. There's an old conch shell right there. One of our slipper shells here. Get a focus. Slipper. There you can see how it looks like a little slipper when you flip it over. The slipper shell. Looks like the tide is coming in. I forgot now. I looked at the tide chart and then I didn't pay attention. morning. There's a look south down the beach. Definitely looks like fog. You see all that low clouds out there just, just kind of wrapping around coming in from the south. They're out in the Gulf. Really hoping we get to see some dolphins this morning. It's a great way to start the week, seeing dolphins. Well, there's a lot of little shells along the shoreline here. Is a jewel box. A jewel box. 
jewel box shell there. Those are very common here. A lot of times you'll find them. They have like, lo looks like a little porcupine. The spines on them, the spiny jewel box. They can get, those spines can get pretty long. The jewel box shell. You can see there's shells all along the beach, not just on the shoreline. Found a couple nice little shark eyes or moon shells yesterday. Nice little whelk shell, a murex shell. Hoping to find something to add to my collection again this morning. You just never know. The slower you walk and the more you're likely gonna find something. This is another one of our common shells here, the turkey wing. little waves breaking on the shore so peaceful out here not very many people out here yet Little bit of sun breaking through here, hitting the water. Once that sun comes up, the colors really pop. The blues and the greens of the water. You can see all the shells right along this little ridge line in the water down here. That's where our friend Bill, who I believe was leaving today to head back to Toronto, back to Canada. That's where he finds his, all his shark's teeth. It's just offshore here, just along this ridge line. Looks like the, the clouds are getting thicker out there. It really looks more like a fog than clouds, a sea fog. It very well could be with all that rain we had yesterday with the humidity. There's another little piece of finger coral down here. Shells come in all sizes down here. Look at this little guy. Look at that. What kind of shell is that? I'm going to put it in my pocket and I'll probably forget it's there. Look at this. Who knows what kind of shell that is? Look at the size of that. Look how tiny that is. It's beautiful though. Look at those ridges. It's so neat. A 
Always check to make sure nobody's home before you stick it in your pocket. Besides not being a good thing to do, taking live shells home, you might get a big surprise if you stick the shell with something in it in your pocket. Especially if it's a fighting conch. I don't know what that little shell was. It was really neat looking. But those are the kind of things you find when you stop and really start looking. It's easy to spot the big ones, pretty easy. But it's those little ones, those little, I call them little gems, little treasures that people overlook all the time. Don't get me wrong, I like finding the big, the big, the big shells too. Those big whelks and moon shells. And the little ones are just as interesting. It is a big pile of shells right here. It's already, people have spent some time digging through here, but you just never know. I mean, that's a lot of shells to go through. Never know what you're gonna find, what you're gonna uncover. There's part of a moon shell, a shark eye there. part of a shark eye. It's pretty worn, pretty broken up. Who knows, there could be a, a nice one buried in here. You don't know until you look. It just takes time. I guarantee if you take the time, you will be rewarded. You will find something nice. I'm not taking the time, unfortunately. My gosh, look at this pile. Just this pile just goes on. Here it is, another big pile over here. Wow. Look at all of those seashells. You really need a little rake to go through these. It's kind of rough on the fingers. That's a lot of shells right there. an old fighting conch shell right here. A twisty, we call those twisties, those old fighting conchs that you can look into, look inside. Clouds are kind of rolling through here again. It's supposed to be partly cloudy. On and off today, the clouds be passing through. They say it's supposed to rain, I don't know. It rained most of the afternoon yesterday.
Nice breeze blowing here now. Wow. I'm gonna turn around here in a minute and start walking north. Head up the beach. Gosh, there's some nice piles of shells along the shore here. Probably be smart if you're into collecting shells to come out here early this morning before a lot of people show up. There's a nice pile right here. Look at all them. It's amazing how they just collect in these huge piles. definitely need a rake to go through those a rake and a, you know just like one of those little hand rakes and a little shovel that'd come in handy the beach is just the shoreline is just lined with shells here a lot of little ones a lot of broken shells too spend all day out here but unfortunately I don't have all day to spend out here let's head north let's take a stroll up towards Wiggins Pass yeah, the clouds are starting to move in again it's all right Even better. That might keep some of the people off the beach this morning so you can have the place to yourself. There are a lot of shells in the water here. I wish it was low tide. I'd love to check all these out. Kind of hard to see the bottom when the sun's not out. Water temperature is 74, in case you're wondering. It's warmer than the air temperature right now. There's a big 
big piece of coral on the beach. I missed that earlier. Look at that. Nice big chunk of coral. Wow. Come on, sunshine, where are you at? <coughs> where is that sun? I see Roy way up the beach there. Nothing's really catching my eye yet, as far as the, the shells go. There's a lot out here. I see a lot of stones, too. All kinds of neat things you can find fossilized in the stones when you pick them up and look close. than shells to pick up there on the beach. Look at that. There's I don't know what the part of a shell what would that be? It's pretty neat looking. We're live on Facebook. Oh, interesting. All <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so we're just doing a beach walk. Oh, and... cool. I thought there was a magnifier on there. No, 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 no. Oh. Well, it is. It's a camera. I mean, it is in some ways. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, wow. What else do we have down here? Let's... Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. That shell. There's a fossilized shell. Part of a fossilized shell. Come on, focus. It's pretty neat looking. Some really interesting little things. We just take the time to stop and look. It's not just all about the shells, although the shells are fun to look at and collect. And there's things that go back, you know, hundreds of thousands of years that wash up on the beach here. Our friend Bill's found quite a few arrowheads, old Indian arrowheads here on the beach and out in the water. You just have to train your eye to find these things.
be sure to hit the share button. Let your friends know what you're watching. We're up in North Naples at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Just had some fog roll in here. We had a lot of rain yesterday, so and some super low clouds or fog coming and going. Yesterday morning was absolutely gorgeous. We had a great morning shelling. We found a lot of neat shells yesterday. The morning's young, so stick with me. Let's see what we come across. Never know what we're gonna find. We're just walking north right now up the beach. Really quiet here today. We just moved our clocks ahead one hour this morning. A lot of people are adjusting to the time change including our friend Roy. He forgot to set his clock ahead last last night before he went to bed. <laughs> so he is running behind this morning like quite a few people. I see him coming up the beach here towards me. Some mornings we get lucky and see our, some dolphins that are swimming along the shore. And then some, every once in a while they'll put on a really good show for us. Come roaring right up to the beach, leaping out of the water. Well, here's a really, really old lightning whelk. Piece of an old lightning whelk. Look at that. That is ancient. That is really old there. These are nicknamed twisties when you find the shells like this that are worn. That's an old, old lightning whelk. What's left of a lightning whelk? Here comes the skipper. Captain Roy, Roy T. Hazy. Haven't I seen you somewhere this morning? Yeah, you did. Hey, better late than never. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> and all of a sudden, the old sun went down, the wind came up. Yeah, it was beautiful here for yeah, a little it was while. Just and... really lovely. I had sunrise up there at the end for my morning prayers, and it was gorgeous. Oh, well. And I had my rainbow rays when it peeked through the trees. Yeah. Wonderful time. It's still beautiful. Yeah, just oh, being yeah, out here gorgeous. is gorgeous. I didn't know about the rain or not. It's just kind of overcast. Well, and they windy. said it's going to rain, but that's Sorry. almost like a fog out there. Yeah, yeah like a heavy, sea fog. Heavy fog. Glorious time. Glorious is the. That doesn't even describe it. There's, did, you, did you figure out where a good Chinese restaurant is? Well, I don't know. I'm. I haven't found one yet. There's one close by. You know where Publix is up at Immokalee Road there and you know right at Immokalee and 41. You know where the Publix is? Uh, on Immokalee? Yeah, right up here. Yeah, right okay. at the light there. Yeah. Well, if you go around the, the corner of that shopping center, there's a pizza place down at the end, New York Pizza. Oh, that's that New York Pizza. Well, there's that, a Chinese place right next door. Yeah, to I it. know that. Yeah, that New York Pizza, that's where we had the big... Uh, uh, sing along or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a Chinese place right next to that. There's now a Mexican that, that's and Chinese. It's on Immokalee, huh? Well, it's in that shopping center. Right, yeah. ne It's right next to... Just a little north of um, uh, 41 on Immokalee. 41 in Immokalee. Well, yep, that's on close the, by. On the northeast corner. Yeah, okay. But it's right down around the corner. Publix is on the one yeah. side. You go around the corner, 
where the pizza place is. Okay. And the Chinese place is there. Yeah, you go up a little north and you turn left on. Are some you looking road. to sit down and eat or take it out? Yeah, sit down and eat. I was just wondering after choir Friday, stop by. Oh, next Jenny. Friday. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah, Chinese is good. That'd be good. Yeah, I like the Chinese. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to walk up the beach. I'll catch you on the way back here. I got a good thought for the day. You got a thought for the day? Yeah. All right. You got, everybody's got to hang in there and wait for the thought. I love okay. it. All right. See you back at the ranch. Yesterday, we just got entertained. We didn't get any wisdom. No wisdom? <laughs> we just got the Tarzan yell and the yodeling. <laughs> well, my thoughts aren't wisdom. They're just uh, interesting. <laughs> Observations. Po something to ponder. Something to ponder. There Ponderable. you go. Ponderable. Well, we're going to look forward to hearing that. <laughs> I'll Pre preposterous ponderable. There you go. Ponderization. <laughs> preposterous ponderization. <laughs> All right. Pro pro prolific. Pon preposterous ponderization. One of the three Ps. <laughs> All right. I'll with, catch. With, with prayer. <laughs> with prayer. Well, with, a, with added prayer. There that's, you go. That's essential, brother. Absolutely. You got that right, Roy. Okay. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Good show. All right. All right. I can't wait. We're going to get a thought for the day. That's the highlight of our beach walk. So you got to stick with us now. I try to end up with our friend Roy. We'll just sit and have a little chat. And you never know where the discussion's going to lead us. It might turn into an argument. <laughs> That's only happened once. But it's usually pretty fun. Sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's silly. But it's entertaining to us. So, <laughs> Well, let's just keep walking up the beach. Checking the shells as we walk along. Which there are tons of out here. That weather we had. We had some rough, rough water last week, and it washed up a bunch of shells. I just saw a little twisty, another little twisty shell. Where was it? So it's amazing. You spot something, and then you look, you turn your head, and you turn back, and you can't find it. I just saw a neat little shell I wanted to pick up. It looked like part of an old whelk. And I'll be darned if I can spot it now. It was just right here in front of me, just right out there in the open. That is crazy. Where was? There it is. That's what I saw. Is that a? That might be a conch. That's part of an old conch shell. I just thought that was really interesting looking. Let's see if it'll focus. Come on. Isn't that neat? Old and worn. That's so cool. I can look down inside it. it focuses. Come on. There it is. Very neat. I don't know why that caught my eye, but it just did. All kinds of neat little things just buried in here. I always, I say I could spend the rest of my life sifting through these shells. The rest of my life and then some. This is where we came in this morning, right over here on this boardwalk. We went south for a little ways, now we're walking north.
find little scallop shells along the beach. Of course, I went to pick one up and that wave just washed it away. Something washed it up somewhere. They're all over though, the scallops. little piece of finger coral. Little kitten's paw. There's a worm, the tip of a worm shell. You can see how when the waves come up, they just kind of scatter everything around. That's why there's always you're always finding something new when you walk along the beach. It gets uncovered or I'm, you know, I'm buried. What's this? Piece of a tulip? A oh, piece of a whelk? Look at that. That's the top of a beautiful lightning whelk. Just the top of it. That's what the inside of a lightning whelk looks like. Beautiful shells, the lightning whelks, when you find a nice big one. That would have been a beautiful specimen. Nice colors. The sun is trying to peek out here, trying to burn through see it up there trying to burn through the clouds it's right up there it's, it's really a fog it's not clouds we have a sea fog happening now you can't even see the north end of the park Hey, if you're looking for a cheap breakfast, check out the Bonita Springs VFW post. Seven bucks for their breakfast buffet. Best deal in town. Anything nice down here? Well, there's always something nice. But anything different? There's a big slipper shell right there. That's a pretty good size little slipper. Slipper shell. Why do they call them slippers, you ask? Well, when you turn it over, see how it looks like a little slipper? It's a slipper shell. Smooth on the outside and a little chamber in there. A little slipper. You find these all over the beach, all different sizes and colors. That's a pretty good size one right there. The jewel box shells, those are common. Where's the jewel? Here's the jewel box. Sun starting to peek out. Another common shell here, the mossy arc. You find a lot of the mossy arcs on the beach. Look at 
this. Here's some little tiny kitten's paws. These are the little babies. Look at them there. Little kitten's paws. Part of a nutmeg shell, half of a nutmeg shell right there. Come on, focus. Half of a nutmeg shell. It's missing the other side. Come on. There you go. The inside of a nutmeg shell. I really, I always enjoy just taking my time and looking through all the little shells along the shoreline. Always, always something beautiful. As the tide goes out, you start to find more and more shells. Oyster shells are very common too along the beach here. Lots of oyster shells. These are fun to collect. I just love picking these up. These, this is the tip of a worm shell. A lot of times you'll find it with part of the worm shell still attached. This is just the tip. Call it a wormy tip. That's its nickname, a worm tip, wormy tip. That's looking south down our beach, a mile. The beach here at Del Norwegans. This is North Naples, Florida. The very north end of Naples and Collier County. Just around the corner from Naples Park. Real easy to get to this place. Very, very easy. If you're on I-75, you just get off. At exit 111, which is Immokalee Road, it turns into 111th Avenue North on the west side of 41. You just go west on Immokalee Road, exit 111, 111th Avenue North. Dead ends at the front gate of the park. Couldn't be any easier to get here. There's a small entrance fee. I think it's $6 for a car full of people. Come in here and spend the day. Where are you gonna be able to take the family for six bucks for the day? There's picnic benches and barbecue grills all along the beach. All back in here, there's a trail that parallels the, the beach. You'll find picnic tables and barbecue grills all along there. Just clean up your mess. Don't litter, please. Don't litter the beach. If you picnic, put up, pick up all your trash. Keep all your food covered. Keep it in a secure container. There are a lot of pesky little raccoons here in the park. They're just dying for a free meal. They are cute to look at, but please don't feed the raccoons. Don't feed any of the wildlife here, including the birds. There is a concession stand here too. If you don't bring anything to eat, you can get snacks at the concession stand. That's up in parking lot four. They also have canoe, kayak, and paddleboard rentals here. They rent beach chairs and beach umbrellas. There's a boat launch area, nice parking lot with the boat ramp. This is a great park. Great Florida State Park. Florida is so blessed with their state parks. The people that work here are fantastic. They're always looking for volunteers here at Del Norwegans and our other state parks. If you like the outdoors and nature, you should consider volunteering 
a lot of retired people in Florida. It's a great place to spend your, your time and helping a good cause. A couple more little twisties. Old conch shells, old Florida fighting conchs. I'd like to find a nice fighting conch this morning to show you. We have a lot of Florida fighting conchs here. I just haven't seen any recently on the beach. They must all be out in the water. When they're out in the water, they're usually alive. You'll know if you pick up a live fighting conch. <laughs> You'll figure out real quick why they call them fighting conchs. Well, that's going to be interesting. So Roy said he's got a thought for the day for us. So we'll check in with him before I leave on my way back. Just going to meander up the beach a little more. See what we find. I don't feel any signs of a red tide. We had red tide last week, that was bad. People out here coughing, their eyes burning, dead fish on the beach. They've cleaned up the beach, the fish are gone. I don't feel the red tide in the air. I don't feel it when I breathe. It may still be out in the Gulf, but it's not affecting us here right now. My favorite place to come in the morning. Just reflect, get in touch with nature. And I get to share it with everybody here on Facebook. That's what's really neat. Made some great friends through these live feeds. And I know some of you have made some great friends through these live feeds. That's so neat. This is a way to just bring people together from all around the world. I love the conversations that are going on here during these live feeds, people introducing themselves, you know. Feel free to share whatever you want. Just keep it clean. That's all I ask. If you've got some personal accomplishments you want to share with our group, our friend Patty Knight has quit smoking, our friend Jennifer Ann stopped drinking soda, if you have an ailment, if you're feeling sick, let everybody know. That's what we're here for. We're here to support each other. I have to find a couple nice shells with some holes in them this morning to hang on the shell tree for one of our friends. Don't bombard me with requests to do things like that. I mean, I try to remember. If I do, I do. If I forget, I apologize. But we do have one friend that asked that I hang a few shells in memory of some of her loved ones that have passed away. And then try to keep my eye open for some nice shells, four nice shells. There's a little cluster of shells over here. Maybe there's something buried in there. You just never know. These were just underwater not too long ago. Still nice and wet up here. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you what that is. I've told everybody a million times what those are, so. Somebody comment and tell everybody what that is. No reason somebody shouldn't know what that is. Your first test. Come on. <laughs> A 
lots of broken shells here this morning. I just find these conks so neat when they're broken like this. So neat to look at the insides of them. You know, if you take the time and go through all of my videos, you're gonna find so many different shells. We have little seasons here. There's times where we just see hundreds of sea stars along the beach. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fighting conks. Hundreds and hundreds of sand dollars. It's, I haven't figured it out yet, but it's like, it's seasonal when we find these things. I am not a marine biologist by any means. And don't take everything I say as fact. If I say something that's wrong, feel free to correct me. That looks like a little shark's tooth right there. Let me wash it off. Let me see if it is. Well, that's a little pebble. We do have shark's teeth out here. You're more likely going to find those out in the water, though. To find some pretty good sized shark's teeth there, too. Our friend Bill has found quite a few. All right, I have to find some nice shells, nice big shells, four nice shells with a hole in it that I can hang on our shell tree. If you're wondering what the shell tree is, well, you're gonna find out here in a little bit. It's kind of neat. We have the branches of some dead trees along the beach at the north end of the park and people just started, oh, years and years ago, not just here, but all around Southwest Florida, people hang shells on the branches of these dead trees. And they're really, some people call them prayer trees. I call it a shell tree. People will hang a shell, they'll make a wish when they hang a shell. Some hang, hang a shell just as a decoration. Some folks actually, if they have a marker or something with them, they write their name on it and the date that they were here and they take a picture of it for social media as a little memento of their trip. but the tradition really started with people hanging a shell in memory of a loved one that passed away. So that's what I'm gonna do for one of our friends. She asked that I hang four shells. So I have to find four shells with some nice holes in them. And usually they're all over the beach. And this morning, I'm just not seeing any. Have a dreary morning right now. We just have this fog rolled in, starting to break through there. You see a little blue sky starting to break through the fog. You can see we had a lot of erosion here last week, and some pretty big waves pounding the beach. north end of the park, Area 5, they call this. You can see we had a lot of erosion here. It's just the way Mother Nature rolls. They don't do anything to re-nourish the beach here at the state park. They just let Mother Nature take her course. And this beach has been here way before me, and it's going to be here long after I'm gone. So apparently she knows what she's doing. This is something neat here, this worm rock. You find this all up and down the beach. Very neat to look at it up close. 
the worm rot. See all those little worm tubes? Anything, any questions that you have about this? Like I said, I don't, I'm not an expert. Google it. Hit Google. That's what Google's all about. Google worm rot. Share your findings with us if you're curious. I'm just happy I know the names of a lot of these things. Same for the temperature here. Don't ask me what the temperature is. Google it. I'm not the weather man. I can tell you what it was when I came out here, when I started, but I don't know what the temperature is now. It's so cool though. Look at, let's see if I can get it up close. Look at that. Wow, look at the colors on this little scallop here. Bright, bright orange. It's got a chip in it, but look at how bright that is. It'd be brighter if the sun was shining. It's just almost a fluorescent orange, that little scallop shell. Wow. And just next to it, an olive shell. There's a lot of people that are into collecting these olive shells. A lot of them have the tips missing. That's actually another shell will drill into that and get, get the snail out of it and eat it. But these are, when they have the hole in it, they're great for hanging on a necklace. You can string a bunch of them together. The olive shell. Boy, we haven't seen many folks at the beach this morning. Pretty quiet. Everybody's running an hour behind because of the time change. Even Roy was running behind this morning. I forgot to remind him about the time change yesterday. There's an interesting looking Oyster shell down here. Look at that one. Wow. That's pretty wild looking. I wish the sun would come out. It just makes the colors pop. That's a crazy looking oyster shell. It looks like it's got, it actually has the beginnings of a worm rock. See that? Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's got the little worm tubes attached to it. This is going to turn into a piece of worm rock, or was going to before it washed up on the beach. Wow. That's neat. Piece of abandoned tulip shell. Something I'd love to find is a beautiful tulip shell. This is just the side of it. I'd love to find it in a whole banded tulip shell. They're beautiful. The tulips, the crown conchs, beautiful shells, the whelks. Here's a piece of a lace murex. Just a piece, might be a coconut, or a coconut, apple murex, what did I say, coconut? I always say coconut, apple murex. Might be just a slice of an apple murex. I think I actually saw that yesterday. Pretty cool. It's a little worm shell. Another little worm shell. What a 
else do we have down here in all these little shells? There's a piece of a whelk down there. Piece of a lightning whelk. kayakers out. Kind of hard to see out there, kind of dark on the horizon. There's three kayakers heading out. A lot of times the dolphins will swim right up to these kayakers. They're moving along at a pretty good pace there. Again, you can rent kayaks here at the beach. It's fun to do. You might want to Get your feet wet by kayaking inland first in the back bay before you head out into the gulf. Lightning welt, piece of the lightning welt, another broken lightning welt. There's part of a shark eye, shark eye shell or moon shell. That's the eye right there. Beautiful shells, the shark eyes. It's a good look at the eye right there. Yesterday morning I said, boy, I wish I'd find a nice little shark eye. And I looked over and there was another one on the beach, a nice one. I'm not gonna push my luck. It's a little baby conch, what's left of a little baby fighting conch shell. What's left of a little baby lightning whelk. I found a really nice little lightning whelk morning, yesterday morning. Here's what's left of a little baby lightning whelk. Found a beautiful little lightning whelk yesterday, beautiful colors. Another piece, partial nutmeg shell. Partial nutmeg. Still looking for some big shells with some holes in them to hang on the shell tree. a cockle but it doesn't have a hole in it gosh darn it cockle shell well we just about made it up to the north end of the beach the sun's trying to come out shell and hang it here this morning. Well, 
let's see if there's any shells with some holes in them that'll work on the tree. Huh. Usually they're all over the beach. And now that I want one, I can't find one. hanging on the trees here. I'll find one, bear with me here. What's this? Piece of a... Wow. What was that? Was that a fighting conch or what kind of conch was that? That would have been a beautiful shell. Wow. Look at the patterns on that, isn't that neat? Well, there we are up at the end of the beach there. That's Wiggins Pass up there to the north. That's the border, the northern end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. There's another nice little fighting conch, little baby fighting conch. Beautiful little shells, the fighting cops. Oh, there's a worm shell. It's got a little tip, little piece of the shell on it. The worm tip with a little piece of shell. There you go. I'm gonna keep that one. That's a nice little one. And I found a shell that I'm gonna hang on the tree. I'm gonna hang this well. gonna get the sand out of it but that's different that's an old lightning welt that'll be perfect to hang on the tree for our friends she asked me to hang four I'm sorry I'm just gonna be able to hang one but there you go I'm gonna hang this shell for you in a little bit on the tree just gonna walk up the beach a little further Oh man, a lot of fishermen up there this morning. Good morning. This is where everybody comes to fish when they come to the park, up to Wiggins Pass. It's the only place you're allowed to fish, up at the north end of the park. I know a lot of you are commenting, asking me questions. I can't see the screen when I'm out here at the beach. The reflections are just too much on the screen. I can barely see what I'm actually recording. So I apologize if I don't answer your questions. Hopefully some of our friends know the answers. This is Wiggins Pass, and just on the other side of Wiggins Pass, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve. Another beautiful, beautiful beach. That's a county park, a Collier County Park, Barefoot Beach. Wiggins Pass is the mouth of the Coquihatchee River. Just in case you're wondering. 
again, that's up in North Naples, Florida. North Naples, Florida, in case you didn't know. <laughs> There you have it. Hopefully that sun's gonna come out here soon. It's supposed to be overcast on and off all day today. Let's head back down to the beach. Stop and see if I missed anything while I was walking, any shells or whatnot. We'll go have our little chat with Roy. He said he's got a thought for the day for us. That'll be interesting to hear what he's got in store for us this morning. Let's make our way back down. Back down south. Now the wind's hitting me right in the face. clouding up. It's actually a fog out here. Very foggy. Early this morning when we started, we're we're watching the pelicans feeding. That was neat, watching them dive into the water. When the blue sky isn't out, you can really see how green the Gulf of Mexico is. It's that emerald green color. That's the natural color. But when the sun's out and the blue sky, the clear blue sky, the water picks up the blue from the sky. But the gulf is naturally a green color. Totally different from the other coast, the other side of Florida. These are some of our trees got knocked down by Hurricane Irma. We used to arch out over the water here. It was a really nice walk. That darn hurricane knocked them over, but it gave us a lot of places to hang our seashells. So I'm gonna find a tree, a branch. I'm gonna go to another tree and hang that shell for our friend. Never know what it's gonna be like out here. Some mornings, beautiful clear skies, sun shining. Other mornings, foggy like this. Still beautiful, no matter what. Just being able to come out here is a blessing. Gotta love it. Let's see, where's a good spot? Is there a good branch over here somewhere? Oh, I'm gonna go down one more tree down. I'm gonna hang this whelk shell for our Facebook friend. I apologize, I think her name was Helen, or Hazel. Can't remember. Got so many people on here, I can't remember everybody's names. 
I feel bad about that. Sorry about that. But here's a good spot here. Let's see if I can find a nice big branch. And here we go. See if I can get this on and down. There you go. That's not going anywhere. Hopefully no shell pirates will get it. People take shells off. I hung a cockle shell here not too long ago and somebody stole it. But there you go. There's your shell. Let me take a picture of that. Bear with me one second here while I take a photo. I'm back, I'm back, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just trying, you know what, that's a better angle, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take another picture. This is for a friend, one of our Facebook friends, bear with me, I'm sorry. Well, well, it looks like we lost a few viewers, I'm sorry. But, I had to do that. You can see some of the shells on the tree here that others have hung. A great way to great little memory hang a shell memory of a loved one that's passed away great idea there goes some pelicans flying by us just above the water well, let's get down the beach and see what Roy's thought for the day is He, earlier this morning, he said he had a thought for the day, so I'm looking forward to hearing that one. He had a little smile on his face when he said it, so could be interesting. All the pelicans are just offshore here, a little ways down from me. See if we can catch up to them. They're just sitting there waiting for some fish to swim by. That wind is really kicking in here when I'm walking south. It was at my back while we were walking north earlier. Look at all these shells though. Look at them all.
I don't know where Roy is. I don't see his chair out on the beach. He said he had a thought for the day and he was going to be here. Maybe he just moved in under the trees out of the wind. A quick look around on our foggy morning, our foggy Sunday morning. Doesn't scare the true beach lovers away though. Let's keep our fingers crossed that Roy's still here. Hopefully he's just under the trees, out of the breeze. <laughs> Up here. He is. There he is. Hey Rob, how are you doing? I'm doing old buddy old pal. Hey, I'm gonna snuggle you in here out of the wind. I got I gotta go see a man about a horse. Oh, that's important. I need you to hold this camera for a minute. Can you hold do the that? Camera? Yeah. And you I'm gonna give I'm gonna pass the torch on to you here. Uh, I've never done this before. Well, just don't put punch any of the buttons. Huh? Don't hit any of the buttons. Just hold that and see this is what you're doing. Don't don't touch that. Just hold it down on the bottom. Okay, Where you got the, it? Where you got it? Where without you? without pushing it. Yep. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn this around. Now, see your face there? 
<laughs> Hold it like that. And now, while I'm gone, you can talk to everybody. Tell them whatever you want. Everybody's listening. When you see these hearts coming across. Well, what am I supposed to tell them? Oh, share your um, thought for the day. How long have I got to talk? Until the battery goes dead. How long is that? Hours. I can't talk for an right. hour. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm just going to go around the corner. Here. Should I give my words of wisdom without you? <laughs> tell, tell, them, uh, tell them a story. Tell them a story. Well, I got a lot of interesting stories as I've been down the road a, a while, and uh, it's been a glorious, marvelous life, I'll tell you. I've had a just a spectacular time in life. I've enjoyed every moment of it, and I've been very, very lucky and very blessed in life. And... Uh, very fortunate. Everything's worked out so well for me. I, I really think it isn't just luck. I, I think the good Lord's been watching over. I know he's been watching over me, and, and that's a real blessing to feel that the good Lord is, is watching over you and guiding you and directing you and taking care of you and, and providing. Golly, what a blessing. So in, in, uh, in response to that, why... Well, I've tried to be a blessing in my life, and I uh, brought up my children while well, my wife brought them up, but I provided and provided a home and, and took care of things. So I guess I did my work and got three children, and they're, they're doing well in life. So everything's going really great for me, and now I got a, a f friends like Rob here that, that uh, always taking pictures of me for some odd reason I don't quite know why but 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 he does does and, uh, and so uh, uh, I can't help it I can't avoid him because he's down here on the beach so <laughs> I'm <laughs> your stalker Roy anyway I don't want to avoid him because he's, he's a nice guy but I don't know why he's always taking pictures of me but but because uh, you're interesting but we I'm not interesting yes, but you are. we have a good time in life we have a lot of laughs and you can't beat that and and uh, and uh, it's nice to uh, feel that people are watching and talking to people. That's a that's a real blessing too. So I appreciate all the blessings in life and th and this this communication with people and the, and the relationship is another one of the blessings, isn't it? So I'm gonna pass this huh? Gill guy back. To, <laughs> okay. uh, it's, his, it's his gadgets. And, yeah. So well, okay. here you go, Rob. <laughs> Roy, that was awesome, Roy. Well, I know it's awesome. I. Tried to keep I was talking about something. I was afraid you were going to say, be talking bad things about me while I was gone. You had your chance. Well, I, <laughs> I, I, I thought about it, but I figured, no, he's too good of a guy. Uh, There's no, oh. nothing bad about him that I can think of. Oh, oh, talk to my wife. <laughs> she'll tell you, definitely she'll tell you otherwise. I don't think so. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> So did you save your thought for the day for us? Well, you know, I had an interesting thought. This is really, uh, everybody is involved with this situation, and I think everybody should strive to, to better it. And the, the situation is communication. Communication uh -huh. is a big, big thing when you Absolutely. get to thinking about it, because uh, when you, when you uh, are integrated with other people, right. you're communicating with them. Like this very moment. Yep. And the communication is usually in the English language, although uh, some communication could be sign language. It could be the expression on your face. You frown. You look ugly. You look happy. Of course. You, you smile. That's a communication. Yep. You smile at people. You, you glance at you them. You roll your eyes. All these things. <laughs> and, and you can make uh, hand gestures, too. There are some gestures which are you're communicating a... a uh, a bad thought. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all know some yeah. of those gestures. <laughs> so, but w what I mean is that you can improve your communication. We speak the English language, which is which is nice. There are other languages, but uh, most of the people we talk to know the English language, and we can improve our language. That's the thought: is try to improve your communication. We can use words that are more meaningful. And you have to grope for the right words. I know I do right. it myself. Right. And, and my mom always, she had big words. And, and, uh, and we learned 
bigger words from her. And when I got off to school, some people didn't even know what the meaning of those words were. So there's a lot of different words in the English language, and, and they all have a little different connotation. And what a person should do is kind of grope and seek for the right words that, that give the right what he's trying to impress. And uh -huh. it's, it's a kind of a job. Of course. And you have to work at it. And, and you should and always be trying to broaden your vocabulary, it, it too. Broaden your vocabulary and, and also speak speak well. I, don't, I have a little trouble speaking as clearly as I used to, but that's all part of life, I guess. Uh, but you should speak clearly and succinctly and enunciate properly yeah. well. So all these are part of the communication. And, and sometimes you need to think before you speak. <laughs> <laughs> right. You got that right. Yeah. That's a good don't, thought. Don't blast the Defin first thing out. Definitely <laughs> think before you speak. And, and try to control, control your emotions. Emotions are a big, big part of communication. Absolutely. I mean, love, hatred, resentment, uh, uh, joy, happiness, it's all part of communi communicating with other people and other things. You can communicate with animals, people who have dogs that they of love. Course. I mean, there's a lot of communication there. With, with horses, you can communicate. So it's With uh, horses' asses. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I know a few. See, see, I just said something without thinking before I said it. <laughs> well, they are. They're around too. Yes, they are. <laughs> but you try not to get close enough to them to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> Those, I think you communicate with the hand gesture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, gosh. But you even got to be careful about that. I think I told you about, I heard about oh, yeah. the, the person in the, in the car, he, he gave, gave somebody the finger and the other guy shot him and killed him. Yeah, so, that's crazy. So uh, got to be careful about your communication. Yes. And and when you when you have uh, anger and resentment, the best idea is to is to try to subdue it. Oh, and communication. Speaking of that, you communicate with your Creator, and that's a that's, big, big part of the. That is very important. His prayer is all part of communication, yeah. and you're, you're communicating with your uh, com, uh, with your Creator, and that's the biggest part of communication there is. Absolutely. And, it, and that's also. A uh, highest form, I think, of positive thinking, and positive thinking is a is Prayer. a kind of a form of communication. So that's my word. The communication is a vast, oh, big huge. subject. Yep. And of course, you can get into different types, like on the radio. I remember, I was a kid. I made a crystal set, and I go dee 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 <laughs> dee dee, communicate with other people with the Morse code and. <laughs> That's something. It's a big subject. It is big area. It encompasses a lot. Communication. Yeah. So oh, that's the word is communication, work at it and uh, improve it, yep. simplify it. I can't wait to hear what you were saying while I was gone for those couple of minutes. How well, you communicated. I was, I was just uh, telling people a what a glorious, wonderful life I had and I was so blessed and I appreciated it. Well, that, that was great. all just telling the blessings of life. Well, I think you did a good job. I don't know about it that. It probably took you a minute to get going there. but. I think you're a good communicator. Well, <laughs> you know, this, this, uh, speaking of that, you know, I was in the Navy, and when I got my commission and they asked us what I wanted, what we wanted to be assigned to, I said uh, I wanted to be on a PT boat because even though I was, a, they only had only two officers on the PT, and right off the bat, I'd be the executive officer, you know, <laughs> right. even though there was a, a skipper that was a higher rank. Well, instead of on the PT boat, I got assigned to a battleship. <laughs> That's a but, little different. But the reason was I'd been in um, the, on my dossier or something. I'd, I'd made this crystal set when I was a kid, and I was in communications huh. when I was a kid. And so they figured I should be in communications. Well, they sent me to Harvard to communication school, and then I... I learned to decode the top secret messages. That's another wow. big part of communications is, oh, yeah. is in, the, in the military and you communicate uh, very secretively so the enemy doesn't know what you're talking about. And so that's uh, all, that all stemmed from you building that crystal radio. I think so, yeah. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that is. I learned the code when I was a kid. And well, times were different back then. Yeah. We that's for sure. Having... Anything that you showed any knowledge or interest in, they tried to point you in that direction, for sure. 
So, so on a, this subject of communications, think of the military, the communications. Oh. Got. Now they're Nowadays? communicating with the spaceships. So, oh, gosh. So communications is a big, big, big subject. And I just wanted to yep. enumerate on that a little bit. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> you enumerated very well. <laughs> Expostulated. There you go. <laughs> there's, a, there's a word for you. I love it, Roy. <laughs> well, we got a thought, our thought for the day. <laughs> Practice your communication skills. And, and improve it. Yep, improve and them. Constantly work on them. All your life, you're going to work on it and improve it. Yep, with your spouse, your loved ones, your creator, your yep. friends. And you can communicate. Even your enemies. You can, yeah, you can communicate. Communicate with your enemies. That's right. And uh, forgiveness, I think, is a form of communication. Uh, you know, forgiving your enemy for yep. uh, hurting you and... It's a big, big area. Oh, well, you did it. Think of, think of Jesus the Christ, the communication he gave with people. My gosh. Yep. He was a very convincing, eloquent person, and uh, boy, did he communicate. I mean... He never stopped. You no, know, I mean, everybody's still learning from him and studying what he said and, and trying to, to, to be, to act according to what he... he uh, was, uh, what he taught us. Yeah, recommended and suggested. Yeah. And, desired of us well so think about communication and be involved and improve it there you go Roy awesome <laughs> <laughs> thank you a little I got I got a request our friend she just loves you hearing that you are my sunshine when you play it on your harmonica <laughs> that's her favorite song yeah we did play for her you got your harmonica with you I do. Is it, is it where's it at? I'll get it. Is it here? Oh, it's right here beside you. I think it's hiding here. Yeah, we're right in front of Audrey's bench back there. Great place to sit. Does she want you are my sunshine? Yep. I she that loves too. that song. Her you mom are. loved it. Her sister you are or mom? my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray, gray or blue. I don't know which color gray. they are. You make me happy when skies are gray. Gray. Oh, my God. You'd be yeah. happy if the skies were blue. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> reads her go uh -oh. back. You know, you do have a box full of harmonicas now. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be time to start breaking one of those new ones out. Yeah, this you've got a you got those beautiful old honers that our friend Betty gave that's you. That's right, that big. And, that, and big Bill one. gave you a brand new one, a brand oh. new harmonica for your birthday. Oh, yeah. Ranger Bill, that brand new one he got yeah, you. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I and it's keep, a chromatic. It's yeah. I keep playing this is because it's my old one. I know it's got days. sentimental value, but I'll have to break one of those out. I got. I know I got them at home. Yeah, you got a box full of them. You got that little tiny one that Betty gave you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get into those. I'll get. Yeah, we got to bring. You got to throw that in your car and bring it to the beach. Yeah, because this is getting a little creepy. Yeah. You can play that one, but we need to get the the dust out of those other ones okay <laughs> bring those put those in your car next time i see you we'll I'll go through it. them all <laughs> all right Roy. god bless well bless you rob have it's, a wonderful day it's a big thing you're doing with all this communication well i love it that's what this is all this is about communicating right here that's what exactly. this is all about people communicate back and forth while they're watching this video amazing yeah they say they, there's people that have made friends with each other all around the world isn't that something? I saw a picture of you just this morning on Facebook of two gals that over at Rib City. They thought you were a celebrity. <laughs> they took their picture with you. I put that Rib up on City. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, there were a couple Last gals week that said hi at Rib there. City. Yeah. That's right. I was so happy to meet you. I was over there for a few ribs, yeah. Yesterday we had our friends Ron and and um, 
Was it Diane from Kentucky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were down here, met you. They've been watching you for a year on Facebook. They came down here and met you. Yeah, there was another Ron. Yeah, Ron from Kentucky was here. The yeah. guy who yodeled. Yep. Oh, could he yodel? That was fun. You yeah. and your Tarzan <laughs> yell, and you did a good job yodeling there. You picked right up on it. Yeah, he, he gave you a few notes. Gave there. me a, a few pointers about how yep. he yodels. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean that's it's all about communication. Like you said, that's what we're doing here: communicating. Yeah, yeah. We, Technology is just letting us communicate with more people. <laughs> that's right. But it still kind of starts with us. We have a gentleman here that watches us now just about every time we're live from Australia. Really? Yeah. All the way from Australia? Yeah. My gosh. Yeah. He has become a really good follower. How about that? It's amazing. Yep. Yeah. He thinks he loves you. He, he, he was disappointed yesterday that we didn't get a thought for the day. I thought we had a thought. Didn't we have a thought yesterday? No thought. Yesterday was more fun. No, we can have fun. <laughs> well, we don't fun have to be serious thinking. all the time. Okay, we didn't think. We just yeah. we just laughed. <laughs> yeah. He's watching right now. He's on here right now. Did he swim the Australian crawl? <laughs> he laughed when you said that about Tarzan, about Johnny Y. Smaller. He got a kick out of that. Swam the the I think crawl. that's where the invented it was in Australia. I don't know. They had to swim real fast to stay ahead of the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some sharks out there. <laughs> but anyway, yep, there's everybody sends their love to you here, Roy. Well, love to everybody. My gosh, they're all wonderful, beautiful people. To close us out here with one more song tune on the harmonica. I don't care what it is. Make it something sweet. Something. <laughs> he got through it barely, but you I think made so. It. That was great, All right. All right. Well, you have a blessed Sunday. How we do? Yep. And Hi, George. Enjoy the, the weather, no matter what it is. The Lord's here with us. We're really blessed. Yep. I mean, it doesn't matter. We got overcast skies out here today. But so what? Now the sun's up there. Somewhere. Yeah, the sun's behind those clouds. That's for sure. It's there. I it hasn't mean, left I us. I feel it breaking through. Yep. Well, you have a wonderful day, Roy. You too, Rob. I'll see you great, later. Always great. great always great chatting with have you. Have a good day. Bless you. Watch, I'm walking backwards here. Bless all your dear Facebook friends. Oh, they love you, Roy. <laughs> That's where you'll find Roy, up here in Area 4. The north end of Area 4, parking lot 4. Well, hopefully the sun's gonna peek out from behind the clouds today. It's supposed to be overcast today. The weatherman, I guess, they were right. They know their business. Oh, here's something I don't like seeing on the beach, folks. I love encouraging people to come out to the beach, but please don't do this. Don't leave a hole like this on the beach. Please fill in your holes. Let your kids dig the holes. Have a blast. Please fill them in before you go home. That is a huge hazard. You might not realize it, but people do walk this beach at night. And if you were walking this beach at night, tripped in that, you'd be in serious trouble. And sea turtle nesting season's just a couple months away. Our sea turtles can get stuck in those holes, and even worse, the little baby sea turtle hatchlings. If they get caught in there, they become easy prey for the birds and raccoons. So please, fill in your holes. Yeah, little, little tyke walk running up the beach here. <laughs> Hope you had a, enjoyed your morning with us today, with me and Roy. Can't, uh, right now I don't know when I'll be back for another live feed. I'll try to get out here 
tomorrow. I was hoping to meet one of our Facebook friends here. I'm gonna do my best to get out here tomorrow morning, but work has to come first. Nobody pays me to do these beach walks. I love doing them. A few people have made some little contributions. I appreciate that. They're always welcome. They help pay the phone bills. Without this phone, I can't be doing a live feed. So if you want to make a little contribution, you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little bit later. But again, thanks for watching. Be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out my photos and videos. I know you're going to find something you like. When you do, hit that share button. We've reached our 20,000 likes goal. Just yesterday, we hit 20,000 likes. Next goal is 30,000. Let's get our community up to 30,000 friends here. That's awesome. Thank you, folks. Love you guys. Have a great day from wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.